hi. I'm going to show you how to implement encrypted multicast traffic over a IPsec tunnel. Uh, I'm going to use VTI interfaces and I'm going to use the tool GNS3 to show you um, how to implement this. So I'm going to open up and I'm going to add three routers. These two are going to be what I'm going to link together and this is going to be the ISP. I'm going to start them all I'm going to save and I'm gonna go ahead and drag some cable. So FAS00 to FAS00, 00 to 01. And I'm gonna throw some things on here. Yep, this is up and running. Enough, conf T. Now, to see if you can implement IPsec, see if you have the command, if you type crypto and a question mark, if you get unrecognized command, you can encrypt with IPsec on that iOS version. Um, I think there's another way. Do, do show run. I think if you look at, I can't find it here, but if you look at the image name, it should be a K in it, I think it is. Um, but anyway, let's get basic writing up and running. I'm gonna go ahead and use addresses I have in my head. I'm gonna write them out here, of course. I can write them out right now. So dot two for one is gonna be there on both both these interfaces. Here is going to be one of the two for two and the same here uh, except on this end it's a nine instead of eight and that's just addresses I have in my head of a recent project we did in uh, school I've been uh, learning networking for a year now so yeah um, and the root is going to be out these interfaces. So, let me just throw this in here. Interface zero, 00, IP address. Slash 30, network. IP route. Plus zero, 00. That should work. Do show IP in brief. Do show IP in brief. Up, up. Nice. So here, info zero zero. Oops. Sorry. No shutdown. IP root. Nice. I'm just gonna save these configurations and I'm gonna open up the ISP. I'm gonna do a hostname ISP and what else? I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna set the things. Um, IP address. Fast zero zero is IP address 192.168 sorry 2.18.2.4.1 no shutdown and this is the same except it's a 9 now we should have basic basic routing capabilities let's close you have you open here. So if I ping the other side one on five two one eight nine two four two it should fail a few times then work as the ARPs get through. There you go, success. 
same with you. Really, you only need to test this one way because it's return traffic as well. Great. So let's implement implement a GRE, G R E tunnel. Um, this is extremely simple. Um, in in tunnel zero, tunnel source. Now, best practice is to use a loopback interface, but I'm just gonna show the concept and the how should I call it the uh, how to set it up, and it's up to you to follow best uh, practice and adapt this to your solution or project or whatever it is. So tunnel source fault zero zero, and if I then do tunnel destination, if we look here. It's hostname or IP address. So the other side. That's from here, up there, and down to this interface. State to up. Okay. I'm gonna throw a random IP address here. Um, that should be it. Now, if we go here and we do in tunnel zero tunnel destination that one tunnel source is this one IP address is yeah sure so change state to up we should be able to ping this side do ping then zero zero one Great, the, ton the tunnel is up and working. That's great. Do ping. Yeah, awesome. Now let's start looking at the IPsec part of this to encrypt this tunnel. You see, if I do show crypto IP, sorry, show IPsec. So it is crypto APSEC SA. No SAS found. Um, this will so show sessions and how many packets have been encrypted and stuff. So this is currently not encrypted. If there was a guy sitting here, he could just sniff, sniff traffic right out. And, you know, that could be really sensitive information. So let's encrypt this. Um, let's start on this one, on R1. We're gonna go and create a crypto policy, crypto isekmp policy one. Encryption. What encryption should we use? And I'm, I'm gonna go with triple des. And authentication. Um, you could use signatures or whatever, but I'm just gonna use a pre-shared key, so a password, basically. Um, I'm gonna say this belongs to Diffie-Hellman Group 2. And... Uh, yeah, exit out of this. Now I'm gonna set the... the password. Crypto is a campy key. I'm I'm just gonna use password. No, I'm gonna use passive. And for crypto is a campy key. I really need to do that. Passive. Yeah. Now I get it. Uh, address is the IP address on the other side. For what? destination should this key be applied so that's that address now crypto ipsec 
transform set set one. Um, now there's a lot of encryption methods to choose from. I'm just gonna go with sp triple des and sp sha hmac. In here, we are going to need nothing. Crypto IPsec profile VTI. We're going to configure VTI interfaces, virtual trunking interfaces, and we're going to apply IPsec on them. Another option is to apply IPsec on the traffic and filter out what traffic should be uh, should be encrypted via an access list. But that's that's a real hazard. This does essentially the same thing, but it's a lot easier to use. So, yeah. We're going to set transform set this to set one. Now, that's all the IPsec configured. Now, to turn this on, I'm going to go in tunnel zero and just put this on here. Tunnel mode IPsec IPv. Or IPv6. This is whatever. Um, yeah, apparently only IPv4 is here. Now you see it changed state to down. So, yeah. Tunnel um, protection IPsec profile VTI. So now IPsec is on. IPsecMP is on. Great, do copy run star. And I'm also gonna do do show run because really I really don't want to sit here and write this all in again. This is essentially what I want to configure. So if I do copy and it's an uh, return or enter to copy once you have marked text and it's a right click to paste text. Now I'm gonna copy this like that. I'm just gonna go no. So that means that I have removed this password because that is going to do. Oh, I need to remove the no. Um, I'm gonna have it do on the right um, thing, on the right address. So now we are on R2 and we configured it to go over to here and apply the same password, otherwise it won't work. So now if I go into in tunnel 0 and I do tunnel mode IPsec IPv4 and I go tunnel protection IPsec profile VTI, it should go up in. Stain, change state to up. That means that I should be able to ping again. Do ping down zero zero one. Awesome. And if we go back and we do show crypto IPsec, so you will see here packets encapsulated, packets encrypted, packets digested decapsulated, decrypted, verified, and so on. I uh, just got a mail, whatever. Now, we need to implement OSPF, for example. Um, I'm gonna do that to demonstrate that multicast traffic can go over here. So, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna do Exit int loopback one. Um, I'm gonna do IP address one nine two one six eight zero one. Just regular regular C type C network, and I can ping that. Yeah, um, I can't ping it from here because this had no idea where to send the traffic. As you see, it, it will just fail again and again and again. 
but this I have no clue either if I do sh do show IP route oh, sorry you will see the 192.168.0.0 network doesn't exist here um, so let's implement those OSPF we're going to go here and do router OSPF1 now we're going to add the network for the tunnel this is a wildcard mask it's the reverse of a subnet mask um, so if I was to reverse this I can open up calculator and we can look so 0 then you take 255 minus 0 that's a 255 and when you take 255 minus sorry 255 you get 0 so if I was to reverse this it was going to be a 255 255 255 0 type C network now we are also going to add the um, incomplete oh sorry area zero um, for the loop back to be sent over here and over here we're just going to turn on OSPF and we're gonna say network then zero 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 two five five area zero and we should have OSPF up and running do if I do do show IP route now okay how about now zero 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 there we go now you see O here that means that OSPF has added this route and it's via tunnel zero so I can now ping this interface uh, so you can see it's pretty simple to set up um, but I mean it, it's not that hard it's hard to get your head around but once you have that it's really simple anyway thanks for watching and uh, good luck with your network setup bye